Okay, so what happened here uh, yesterday? I understand happened. Basically, me and my friend Stephanie, we needed some money. We saw a girl selling Girl Scout cookies. We saw an envelope with money in it, and I grabbed it, and she drove away. Why did you do it? Because we needed money. We just wanted money. What did you need the money for? Just for anything. We didn't have any money. And there, it was just the easy way of getting money. But you do realize, I mean, you're going to be charged with a crime. Oh, I was already charged with the crime and actually pissed because I should have kept that money. If they charged me with all the charges I just got. But does it worry you? I mean, that, that you well, committed a, a misdemeanor? Well, nothing's, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now, but. What about the people who would say, all right, you know, it's one thing to steal money. It's another thing to do it from a nine-year-old girl selling Girl Scout cookies. I mean, money's money. I mean, I feel bad it was a nine-year-old girl, but there was $150 in that envelope, and I wanted that money, and it was mine. I just want to say that I'm sorry for offending the Girl Scout organization, but other than that, that's it. I mean, some people might say it's... You know, I heard one person in the, our newsroom call it heartless to steal money from a, from a nine-year-old girl. I mean, well, that doesn't... it's not her money. A nine-year-old girl was selling it, but it's not like she was going to make that money. So it doesn't really bother me. The only thing that bothers me is my charges now. What was the, I mean, what was the other crime that you had been charged with? Domestic battery. Um, pretty much we just saw the Girl Scouts with their little table and me and my friend were like, let's get that money that's in that envelope. Because it was just sitting on the table and it was her and her mom and her mom wasn't really paying attention. She was yapping to some lady and the girl was just standing there by herself. And so my friend goes into Winn-Dixie. I was waiting outside of here, like ready to leave. So she grabs the envelope, she snatched it really quick, she ran to my car and we left and we parked and we split the money. Why did you do it? Um, I mean, who doesn't like who doesn't like money? I mean, I don't know. But it's a crime. I know it's a crime, but it was an easy crime. <laughs> it was it was easy. It was sitting right there. I mean, there is a lesson learned now, but I didn't think I was gonna get caught for it like that. I wasn't really aware of the cameras or anything. I didn't think about it. We weren't, didn't really think. What was the what's the lesson you say that that need, that you could learn out of this? Probably not to get caught, or maybe not not to steal. I mean, do you have any remorse about stealing from a nine-year-old girl? Right now, no, because I'm kind of pissed because I have charges and we did give the money back anyway, so now I'm pretty pissed. But I mean, I mean, some people might say it's, you know, not, not the nicest thing to do to steal money from a child, especially a Girl Scout selling cookies. Well, I don't know. Money's money and it doesn't really matter to me. I'm really, I don't have, like, I don't feel sadness for that little girl. I mean, she's getting a lot of money right now from people who feel bad for her, so whatever. What were you going to use the money for? Um, probably for gas. Just for gas money and like my cigarettes and stuff, I don't know. Are you worried about the misdemeanor charges? And yes, I'm very worried. <laughs> um, I'm worried that they might come back up a month later and I'm going to have cops knocking on my door for a warrant. So those people over there, I'm very pissed. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Or? Um, not really. Steve, do you have any questions? No, you said you had to give the money back. Did you spend any of it before? Oh, I spent $50 on gas. I filled up my gas tank and that's it. But I was planning on buying like a necklace and all this stuff and a new phone. But now I guess not. We should have at least got to keep the money. Am I allowed to answer the phone while I'm